Hi guys, welcome back to CID. In the previous video, we had learned how to apply CSS and JS in our Flask web app. In this video, we are going to cover how to get the HTML form values into our Flask app and retrieve and apply operations on those values. In this simple example, we will make a login form and we'll get the username and password of the user and then redirect the user into the next page so how will you do that so i will just copy this previous cell and here i will paste so this is let me delete this one so these all these things will be same but now i will have to add one uh, secret key here because when you are using any of the login form, registration form or any of the data, then you must have a secret key in your application. So, you will have to add a secret key. So, you can add here the secret key with using app dot secret underscore key. And here, you can pass any of the key. It will be any of the string. Okay. But as you can see that this is a random text and this can be known to you and any of the person who can access your files. Okay. But we have a secure way to get the security key here. So for that, let me try a module called secrets. Okay. And if you will use the secrets, then you can get many of the values like uh, let me print a number from secrets with using secrets dot token underscore hex and here i will pass 32 that means it will give me the 32 numbered hex number okay let me run it and you will see that this is a random value okay I've, if i will run this again then this will be another number so all the times it is the secure number okay so you can use like this if you will use this thing in your app dot secret key then you are also not known that what will be your hacks number okay that that means no one can hack your application it will be more secure so i will use the same thing so i will just come here and i will import this thing here in our app and i will use this thing i will let me delete this one and i will use this thing here okay secrets.token hex 32 so this number will be saved here in app.secret key done now as you can see in our previous code we had made two roots dash and dash form for index.html but but if you have a login form then you will have a logic that if user will login then he can access the home or any of the other pages so for that you will make this as a login okay if you can make here you if you want to make here then you can make here or otherwise you can make dash login okay you can make that like that but i want here so that's why I will make a method here and I will name it as login. Okay. And because under login, we want to get the values and send the values. That's why we'll pass here methods. Methods equal to under the list, I will pass firstly get and next I'll pass post okay and now under this suppose if you have a username to match username to match as this okay uh, let, let me make it a small because usernames are always a small and suppose you have password okay if you have password and it will be like a uh, okay like this uh sorry my name so if you have 
a default user and password you can match this with database also we will cover this in next video that how can we create the database in google collab and we will use that database to match the login forms data and then we will redirect the user according to the user values okay but right now i am using this a static value so now i have to get the form values so i have made one login form actually let me show you under the templates folder you will make a login form so i have made a login.html extended the index.html as in the previous video and under the body tag i have made only a simple form as you can see i have form action and under the url for action will be a method which will be triggered when you will click the submit button so i have passed here url for login and you will see that method is post that means you want to give the values to your flask app that is that's why the method is post now there is a label for username there is a label for password and our input type text for username and input type text for password okay but if you will see here if you are new to html then you will understand here that if there is a name equals username and name is equal to password then you will have to understand that these are, are the values these are the variables which you will have to access to get the values from this input types okay if it is a text box if it is a text box then you will have to get the values so for getting the values you will have to access these names you can change the names here okay so these are the variables which we will have to access here so here if i have triggered the login with using this form then we uh, let me import one more thing here requests from flask okay and after importing requests let me match that if the method is post so i will write here that if request dot method equals equals post okay if request dot method will be post then i will have to get the values from that request so i will pass here request dot form this form okay request dot form dot get and i will get the values from the name variable of user first user name okay this will be saved in a variable called username and i will do the same thing for password so i'll just copy and paste and write here password okay so we have now username and password but if there is no post method then what will be happen and if your username and password will not match to this then what will be happen there are two cases so if request dot method equal to equal to post then something will be happen if not then i will just return the direct to login dot html again so i'll pass here login dot html okay and now i will have to match under this that if username equals equals user and password equals equals password then i will have to return redirect to another page okay so i will just return redirect to page 2 page 2 and in the previous video you know that under page 2 we had a variable name which will be asked to print your name okay so here i will just pass the username okay as you can see here in this page 2 there was a prompt for input enter your name but here username right so we can just pass it here name is equal to username so this username will be printed in page 2 so done okay i want that if you have logged in successfully then 
you will redirect to page 2 and if not if not then what will be happen i again want to return to login.html so that he will try again to login because he has wrong password okay wrong password or wrong username but this time i will have to give a message that you have wrong username on password try again so for that i have written one script in my login.html that if there is a message then alert will be a message okay in a previous video we have discussed that how can we use the js scripts so this is the same code which was in the previous so i've just use it if message alert message so i will have to pass message here uh, sorry here yes here so under else i will write a message variable and here i will write that wrong sorry wrong username or password please try again like this okay uh, let me change the line like this okay we, we can leave it wrong i have mistake wrong username or password please try again okay that will be the message and now i can pass here message equals message okay so this message will be transferred here under the message variable in html and then will have a alert message okay so done now let's try running this and see if it is working so now we have username and password it is inheriting the index that's why all the items are being shown here the nav bar and these items so i'll have to pass one random username so this is the wrong username password so it will prompt that username and password is wrong so let me try method not allowed let me see what is the mistake here i have done uh, request dot method equals equals post oh sorry my mistake this method is not here i have checked and this is my mistake so this will be in the root right this will be into the root my mistake i have written here so let me run again now let me try again yeah fine it is showing the message wrong username and password please try again okay so let's try with the values correct values power one and power one, one two three and now try to log in so as you can see it is in page two welcome to home page power one okay let us inherit our page two with uh, index let us try then it will be like another pages because here right now our page 2 is only a simple white page so let us inherit so let me open our page 2 and just like our another pages I will have to inherit on this page. So I'll just uh, remove this one and just uh, use the end block here. Okay, let's save. Let's try to run again our page 2 and we will see how is it looking. okay so it is working welcome to home page for one now it is fine okay but now 
the problem is when you will go back then you can directly go back here okay or if you will go to the login page but uh, suppose you are going to page 2 so we'll just type here the page 2 then you will go here under the page 2 it, it will ask for your name it will ask for your name but after that you will go to the page 2 but it is not to be happened okay because it is not secure so in the next video firstly we will learn how to use the database we will match the values from database and after that we will see that how can we make our app secure with using sessions okay we will use the sessions in the next after next video so stay tuned see you in next video thanks for watching